Each U.S. Treasury futures contract has its own basket of eligible securities for delivery. How do traders know which they can deliver against a specific futures contract? Due to the limited life of interest rate securities and the number of different issues, the futures contracts of these securities allow for the delivery of a few different issues to the futures contract. The five-year Treasury note, ZF contract, for example, will allow anyone who is short the future to deliver any five-year Treasury note with an original term to maturity not exceeding five years and three months and a remaining term to maturity not less than four years and two months. These time periods are calculated as of the first day of the delivery month. This means that traders can deliver different notes. Sometimes there are 10 different five-year notes eligible for delivery that traders can choose from. It will be in a trader's best interest to know which bonds are the cheapest to deliver. There are two main ways to calculate which security is the cheapest to deliver. Traders can calculate this using net basis or implied repo rate methods. To calculate the gross basis, start by calculating the basis of each bond in the issue. Basis is the cash price less the futures price times the conversion factor. Next, calculate the carry charge for each security. Carry is the cost difference between borrowing short-term in the repo market and buying longer-term in the fixed income market. Typically, this is a positive number, since the yield curve is upward sloping, meaning that short-term rates are lower than long-term rates. Carry is the coupon income minus the financing cost. Now using the values from the above calculations, we can calculate net basis. Net basis equals basis minus carry. The issue with the lowest net basis is the cheapest to deliver. The other way to calculate the cheapest to deliver is using the implied repo rate, IRR. The IRR is a theoretical yield calculated by buying the cash security, selling the futures contract, and lending the cash security in the repo market. On the delivery day, the cash contract is delivered to the futures contract. Generally, the security with the highest IRR will be the cheapest to deliver. Knowing what goes into determining the cheapest to deliver can help traders save money by delivering the cheapest cash bonds on the futures contract. The CME has many tools on their website, such as the Cheapest to Deliver tool, to help show traders the cheapest to deliver security. Check out the CME details for the specifics of the delivery of the individual treasury you want to trade.